So uh, I'm assuming that we've all had a chance to read through it in considerable detail. Well, I didn't want to so if you can't vote on whether it's a correct record. Uh, if you're happy to uh, proceed to accept that as a correct record. You also wasn't there, that's... Right, okay. And I really wasn't there, so that's fine. Um, I think it was a reasonable good record, so I did. Um, we don't do matters arising, do we? Like most committees do. There's nothing that's sort of not on the menu now. Okay, so uh, we are reviewing the interim financial report made to the interim auditor, which uh, Claire has circulated and it's been knocking around for um, a week or two. So, yes, what happened was, so when we met at the year end, we said that we would report sort of after we'd done the budget setting, we would report on where we were, um, his audit, and um, so this table sort of the results of that. Um, when I sent it through to him, he asked, which then I sent to Bangor, you not as well. <coughs> he said, um, he asked if it would be approved at this meeting, so um, it is to be approved at this meeting. Um, and then separately, I put on to agree any actions. There might be actions arising out of that, but generally there might be actions arising ahead of the year end, which is sort of the purpose why I scheduled the meeting in February for the finance committee, because then it gives us there is stuff on the year end, the year end, we haven't got a chance to get it done. Okay. So uh, this is um, specifically your response on behalf of the council to questions raised by our um, yes. uh, interior officer. Yeah. Okay, so um, perhaps you should just go through it. You still got out of one. How many did you need him, Z? He's got three. <laughs> okay, uh, well, first item. Um, mm -hmm. The parish council noted that the comments of the internal officer that the detailed checks are the responsibility of the management. The delay in reporting follow up actions to the internal officer was noted. Uh, council itself and Clark agreed with the internal order to set out an action plan immediately based on the parish council's responses to the IAR C subsequent rules. Well, that's what we're talking about, is it not? Okay. And uh, you, in the current position, you said the budget was approved in December, and uh, you have reviewed the IAR and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Extensively. So, and we've got the minutes of the last meeting which we've just yeah. approved. So, accounting methods and year end totals, they're all okay. Uh, policy reviews, I think I can speak from personal experience that we had a wonderfully exciting session a week ago, was it? Yeah. Something like that. Um, there's one or two bits to do. Significantly financial. Policies, um, but we do have a, an enormous financial policy document which is still operational. Clark, you came to come up with something Yeah, I think, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's important. That would be helpful. Um, it says the Policy working group will finalise drafts and reviews by late February. Yes. That's an aspiration, Richard. Is it? But well, we've got quite a few. We've done quite a few. Those ones we've done last, yeah, we done last meeting were fine. Um, yeah. And the idea is that we could get approval at the March meeting, so we could obviously have all the events, but we're not doing everything. Yeah. And we've done the standing here. Yeah. So. Okay. 
Um, disposable pecuniary and other interests. Ooh. This was primarily just the. Oh, yes. The concept of yes. using appendix A, appendix B, and other. And we were going to come here and pass appendix A, B, and C. Right. Because basically, yeah, there's three different types of interests, and two of them are nice the appendices, and the other one's in the paragraph D. Yeah. So well, the other, the other thing that I think some people find slightly confusing is that you need to declare an interest if your wife has an interest, or your partner. <laughs> yes. Well, if you've got, no, you know, she might own the property, but. But it's could be relevant to the your investment. Yeah. Okay. Accounting records. That's okay. Um, so that's the reason I just want to just explain why I got a line with respect to the line. It's because I was following his uh, yeah. report and I didn't want to talk about this stuff out. So, yeah. so there was obviously a comment on something. Yeah, not NA means he didn't yeah. comment on yeah. that issue. Okay, the maintenance contract expenditure, um, checking on the quality of work or standard of work. Um, an action has been taken to make sure that uh, we know when schedule work has been carried out and Council of Society checks the work on each occasion. On that. If you're aware. Okay, so it's connecting the two, knowing when you've done the work and when you begin to check. Employer, there's no issue. It's never been an issue. It hasn't been an issue. Not, it never has been an issue. No. It's very thorough. Yeah. Um, I have taken some good task a couple of times about shareholding and taking out of this part. Right. Do we, it says, consider making this process more detailed? In future contracts, so are we satisfied with the process but wanting to put a clause in the contract saying that you must you must report on when the work is done and what? I think it's quite difficult for him to do it. It is in the law, but sometimes it says like tenders or other schedule changes. That doesn't matter. No, I know. I think that we need to future proof this. Because yes. one day we might not be lucky enough to have those. Yeah, so I'm going to leave. 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 I'm going to leave
for like mm -hmm. last week or so. I think we tried that, didn't we, when we were drafting it? We, but we kind of, yeah, we talked about it. And we yes. When we did our specification, we went back and forth about where we should schedule, as in whether we should be saying dictating the terms in a way. What to do with. But we, we were like, well, we don't, you know, we're not the experts. And that's why we sort of said to them they needed to tell us about it. With Royal Oak, for instance, cutting the grass, he knows when, when it's growing or when it's not. When it's open, we do. And the only one that specified which was the one there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, um, I get the impression it's working at the moment, so we, we don't really want to make yeah. it over complicated. It's only a clear, something like a clear sign off. Yeah, as long as they're with us. Then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> employees. I had, a, had, a, had a job yesterday, you never know what can happen to them. Some of them all had a stroke. It's <laughs> your, who, your son in law. Son in law. Okay. Doesn't matter. Or different ones. Okay, number four, three, yeah. employees. Um, okay, so the contracts are currently in the process of being reviewed by an HR specialist. Face-to-face uh, -face employees with each employee will follow and a, a performance review process. Uh, has been broadly designed and needs some detailed filling out before we commence using that next month. Yeah. Um, we we need to schedule in dates for doing those things, yeah. um, we, and we need to chase up um, the review, the independent yeah. review. The detailed clauses and job descriptions are now ready for consideration by the finance committee. Um, well, did you not say we're going to do? Um Regarding the bridge printer, uh, number six. Um, oh. Yeah, not submitted, but pretty much ready to go. It's just been a bit of a faster plating up and it's a plate.
saying he was very impressed with the response. He said to me that he was very impressed with the response that Claire had sent him of that. This. So I didn't want to say that at the beginning, otherwise she'd be... So, you know, it's good, that. Um, okay, so, moving on. Does that deal with anything? Oh, actions. Well, yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think we'll just, yeah, I'll make sure there's a clear notes in the last contracts and um, we'll finish up the little, well, the Sandy orders and the rest of the financial rights if we can get back to them. Um, I'll get the external orders just to be set in now. Um, can I just ask, I know our external orders is That's eight and five. Six. 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 Okay. Sorry. Because <laughs> I haven't seen this list before. You can't get help. Agenda item five is sort of slightly vague. Are there yeah. any specifics? These are just because our financial regulations say that if we go and look at we should be um, checking that our long term that satisfy the long term controls, um, that you know, etc. And our finance committee terms of work, so that we will keep that. So it's um, this does have an you know, basically if there's any issues, we basically review our internal audit and accounting record system and our long term controls and to review whether they have been or left make recommendations. So um, it's it's it is a vague one because it's it's sort of I don't really know what we want to review or what information we want to review. It's so like one of the part of the process for meeting, but I wanted to just have a discussion about it. How will we have to make glitches in the accounting systems? Um, I think, no. That's one of the things that's making all of the like, like the various steps for payments and everything like that have been should be clearer and, and therefore then easier to follow. Um, yeah. But I, it seems to me, I mean, from my point of view, it's, I find it really hard to sort of swim yeah. in something I'm not familiar with the way it operates. But when we come to go through the finance policy, which we will have to do in some detail, yeah. um, I think that would be a good opportunity to say, okay, you know, it says we should be doing that. A, is it necessary? And B, are we doing I mean, it? I think I'm relatively happy because when we sit down with Patrick, we do go through. He asks a lot of those kind of questions of us, so he'll ask me things like, um, you know, he's asked us before about the signatures in the bank, you know, the bank account, like, you know, he's asked us about, like, he, he's asked us questions. 
questions about controls and so on, and you know how you know how you can check against those and, and, and so on. So I feel like we do get audited on that. It's just it was whether we're happy. It's the most efficient way to do things and, and so on. When you when you talk with Patrick about the financial controls, you say a member of the council or would you? The chair of the council? And it's not just what we have, we have, we have several meetings with him, and he's quite yeah. extensive, and he's, he, 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 he usually has a long list of questions. Right, okay. <laughs> but they're useful. Yeah. They're yeah. useful. Yeah. Sounds very really thorough. It is, yeah. it's thorough. It's really thorough. It's extremely useful. Anybody not know his past? Uh, what's it? Uh, it was NHS. Auditor for the bookkeeper. What? He was top, top, last, not catcher, but the NHS accountant. So there's no longer a lot of test part for me either. I mean, I want, I want to point, you know, I'm just, I'm just, the only thing is I would always come back to this thing about, you know, the detail I should be responsible for the management. So I guess I just think, although Patrick, I mean, I am reasonably happy with what I feel like Patrick does a thorough job. And I have already said to Patrick, I want him to go through what we come up with in terms of the final regulations policy because it, you know, it needs an auditor to spot the things that contradict one another and get this gamekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? He said yes. He said he was very happy to do that. And I, I also said, just, I mean, this is for your information, I said, I think it's very important that we don't just have 30 odd pages of detailed procedures, but we actually set out on the front of the document what the principles of financial management are that we are attempting to adhere to. Because uh, financial auditing in Britain is based on principle, not on just maths. Yeah. So it's, you know, what is the intention uh, of doing things in a certain way? Um, what does it reveal? What does it conceal? And so on. So I, I would be very happy with the process where we, we review the financial policies ourselves with some sort of advice and input from other, other councils but also then review them with Patrick so that we are working from the same hymn sheet. Kind of, if that's okay. <clears throat> right. Uh, I wish to um, put a resolution to the committee that we and we will, we can in due course, but it will also come under the resolution to exclude the public and press. Um, on six, because we are discussing a contract with an individual, and uh, I think it's appropriate that we do that ourselves and announce the result to the public at a later date. Well, it's a... Hmm? He doesn't get paid, does he? No, it's, it's a sort of moral contract, isn't it? You know, we need to appoint an internal auditor. Yes. So it's a sort of um, non-financial contract. <laughs> but I, you know, I'd rather we have that discussion in the privacy of the committee. We take it to the council for approval and then everybody will know after that. Um, and there are other matters, or maybe other matters, relating to internal audit and accounting records and internal controls um, that I would like to discuss with the committee and make some decisions before we take them to the council and go public. So, sorry guys. Sorry, could I, I just missed that. So, obviously, the, I got the bit about the... Um External, uh, there's the internal auditor, but also you want to be in private because of what? Other 
Was it hot water? Sorry, I missed what. Well, matters of racing yes. and uh, so number five, five. So under which is the sort of review of matters relating to internal audits, accounting records, internal controls, and agreeing recommendations that we're going to take to the full council. Uh, how, how is that private? How is it private? How is that? Well, because we need uh, we need to have an open discussion within this committee of what we're going to recommend to the full council. And I imagine that at the full council it will be the public will be there to hear what the results are. Um, could the clerk clarify the the um, the, the um, standing orders for? Closing a meeting. What, I can't oh, it's, quite understand. It's, it's under section one two of the protocol which is the meeting after a few months of debate. It's confidential information to discuss. Confidential. So I, 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 I honestly can't see what's confidential about matters arising well, in relation to the That's a decision for the committee to take. Are you happy with this vote? Yes. And uh, can I take a vote on that resolution? Okay. Thank you. So is that everybody that's agreed to that? Yeah. <clears throat> How are we doing? Yeah.